Hello, welcome to Flirt. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna show you how to add b -b -b bokeh to your images in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to add bokeh to your photos. This is such a cool effect and guess what? It's incredibly easy to do. All you need is one of your photos and a photo of bokeh. Now we're gonna give you these photos that you can actually download and practice. Just follow the link right up there, but you can also go to free stock image websites like unsplash.com, just type in bokeh and you can download those textures as well. And for bonus points, you can photograph your own bokeh textures simply by switching your camera into manual focus, making it super out of focus and photographing light. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So here are the sample images. Now, the first thing we wanna do is get the two together. So we're gonna grab our move tool and I just wanna click and drag from one image to another right here, and you're gonna see it's gonna put the bokeh on my new image. So let's hit F for full screen and go ahead and zoom in. Now, this first thing I need to do is just resize it a little bit because it doesn't quite fill my frame. So Controller Command T is gonna bring up our transform, and then you can just drag your corners down, there we go, and make it a little bit bigger. Now, really, because this is just a texture, you can stretch this and scale it, and you're not gonna see much of a loss in quality. So don't worry about it if it doesn't fit with your image exactly. Perfect. Now, the next thing we wanna do here is I need to get the dark away. So a good bokeh texture should have a black background and then bokeh colored lights. But in this case, uh, we need to go ahead and apply a blending mode to get rid of the blacks. So we're gonna change this from normal down here to screen, and what screen blend mode does is it simply makes blacks invisible and you can just to see the light. So you can see that's the majority of the effect right there. Now, in this case, we have a bunch of different colored lights and while that is kind of cool, it kind of doesn't fit with this image, right? Because our image obviously has this like magenta light color cast. So what we're gonna do is hit Control or Command U, okay? And this is gonna bring up hue saturation. Now we're gonna hit this colorize button Boom, right there. And this is gonna allow us to colorize this layer into any color we want. So let's start by bringing up our saturation a good bit. There we go. And then we're just gonna go through our slider and check this out. This is such a cool process. You can really just colorize any bokeh to fit perfectly with your image. And in this case, I kinda wanna highlight, there we go, a little bit more, there we go. I wanna highlight these colors in my photograph. And I think that looks great. So we're gonna hit okay. Now, don't forget, this is just a texture. You can flip it around, you can do whatever you want. So in this case, we're gonna hit Control or Command T. I'm gonna right click and go, we're gonna start going flip horizontal. Okay, I wanna flip this around. So we're gonna right click again and say flip vertical. There we go, and we could say flip horizontal again. I just like flipping it in a couple different places just to see like, you know what? Do I like it over here? Do I like it over there? In this place, it's kind of covering his eyes. So we're gonna right click and go to flip horizontal there again. All right, cool, that looks pretty good. Now, little bonus tip for you, if you wanna move Boca around, which I do, cause this one's like on his chin and I kinda want it to be like over there. All you have to do, this is super easy, hit S for your clone stamp tool. And then here where it says sample, make sure it says current layer, okay? Current layer is just gonna sample from the texture itself. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample the Boca over here and then we're just gonna look, paint it in over there. And then if I wanna get rid of this, I just sample where there's no bokeh. So hold Alt or Option there, and then paint that over there. How awesome is that? You can literally just paint bokeh wherever you want. Like if I wanted more of it over here, check it out. Boom, we got another one over there. It's incredibly easy to do. I'm gonna undo that one. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna move this one. So I'm gonna sample right there and just move it right to about there and then get rid of that one there too. And then maybe we'll add one right down here on the bottom. All right. This is so much fun and it's incredibly easy to do. I just love adding bokeh to photos. It gives it like a nice uh, dimensional effect. Now, if you need to make your lights lighter or your darks darker to help your bokeh blend in, you wanna use levels. So we're gonna hit Control or Command L for our levels. Now, the reason we do this is sometimes you you can see a little bit of the background color. So you can simply take your black point and make it darker, which 
basically what this does is it hides the background even further and will just show the bokeh. And if you want to make the bokeh even lighter, you can just click and drag from the right to the left there. All right, I think that looks great. Now, we do have a little bit of this area, like on our subject's foreheads, a little bit too bright in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is hit Control or Command T. Now that everything's together, we're just going to transform this and I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. See, we can just scale this around. Super, super easy. There we go. And now it's not so much like on our subject's face. Hit enter and you're good to go. Uh, double, double bonus. Hit Control or Command J to duplicate that. And then look at this. There we go. We've got more bokeh that we can kind of play around and add to our photo in different places. Okay, so we can just continue to play with this, work with these textures and have fun. If you see a little bit of line, you know, where you added that other texture, no big deal. We're just gonna grab a layer mask, paint black on the layer mask. There we go, and hide that line. All right, check that out. Let's take a look at our before and our after. So to try this on your own, all you need is a picture of Boca, which you can download on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Or you can, of course, go to stock image websites like Unsplash and download those as well. Just be sure to copy it over top of your image. Set the blend mode to screen. Then you're going to want to hit Control or Command U so you can colorize. Don't worry about transforming and use levels to adjust your lights and darks until everything blends in perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get a free tutorial on YouTube every single week, click up there to subscribe. YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. And if you want to learn even more advanced techniques like frequency separation, retouching, and compositing, check out Florin Pearl. You can do that right up there. Thanks so much. I'll flirty later. Bye, everyone.